public transport. Everybody sees the busway as a good thing. Last millennium transformed life in Bogota. It's saving uh, citizens about 300 hours per year. Time that people now have with their family. People arrive at work uh, less tired, they are more productive. And above everything, there is more respect for human dignity. The busways being introduced have arrested a long-term decline in public transport usage in the city. Patronage has increased by over 80%, which was well beyond our, our projections. And positive reaction from the community about the South East Busway because of the frequency of service, the reliability, um, that has worked very well. I get letters from people uh, talking about it. Certainly there's been that sort of support. While increased ridership and public praise are important, there is perhaps an even greater benefit. Our system is one of the few in the world that is not subsidized. If you don't subsidize public transit, you have more to invest in other social programs. Transmilenio is not only a transportation project, it is an urban improvement project because investments were much lower than they would have been if we had invested in rail. We were able also to build sidewalks, bikeways, to plant trees, to make libraries, to make parks, to make a city much more humane. The single greatest benefit for Bogota from Transmilenio is to improve the quality of life for the citizens. It is even possible to locate important services at BRT stations, making them easily accessible. The South East Busway in Brisbane had some key successes with um, transit-oriented development. One of the keys was here at the Marta Hill Busway Station, where we were able to integrate with the hospital development program, and we were able to sell the air rights above the busway station so that they could build a clinic building and a link building across the busway and integrate the hospital facilities with the public transport station. It's also important to understand how BRT competes with private cars. Curitiba, for example, has one of the highest car ownership rates in Brazil. Yet around 70% of commuters use public transport every day. Per capita gasoline consumption is 30% below other comparable Brazilian cities. Even people who own cars prefer to go by Transmilenio because it's faster, about 15% of uh, Transmilenio users own a car, but prefer to use Transmilenio. Quite a significant percentage of busway users are people who did previously drive cars and are now choosing to leave their cars at home. You can get to the city from eight mile planes by bus in 18 minutes. You're probably looking at 45 to 50 minutes as a normal peak hour run by taking your car all the way to the city. The cost of a ticket from the South East Busway from eight mile planes to the city, $3.20. By comparison, you want to bring your car into the city, you're looking at $18 all day parking. These cities are using BRT to provide mobility for all citizens. And there are dozens of other cities following their example. So what advice would our leaders give? My advice would be um, to go for it and, um, and, and start in a, in a substantial way rather than a piecemeal way. The important thing is to start the process and get the job done. Make it happen. My advice to any mayor would be bite the bullet and do it. The most important thing is political will. Guts. Every BRT starts with a small step. It's a matter of having the courage to begin. 
I am absolutely convinced it was worthwhile. It was worthwhile all the difficulties, the battles. And what is most important is that the people of Bogotá are convinced of it. Now other parts of Brisbane are putting their hand up saying we want one as well. We went from being importers of technology to being exporters of technology to the whole world. How did this happen? Because we decided to be realistic and have the courage to begin. There is no miracle here. Anyone can do it, and they can do it even better.